Germany in the late 1920s. Music, theatre, cinema, cabaret. Enormous energy eaten up seeking serious pleasure. These were the years Fritz spent at sea. Not that the good times were for working class lads like him. Meanwhile, Hitler saw the nightclubs and found them shameful. He'd begun to see himself as some hero of old, his mission to slay the monster of democracy. Our public life today encourages this wallowing in pleasure. We must clean away this filth, this plague, and we must clean it away ruthlessly and without wavering. Hitler's problem was simply persuading Germans they needed some knight in shining armor. But then, on October the 24th, 1929, Wall Street crashed. The worldwide depression that followed hit Germany hardest of all. With some satisfaction, Hitler realized his day had come. Such contentment. Never in my life did I feel such contentment. To see hard reality open the eyes of so many millions of Germans deceived for so long. In three years, German production halved. Thousands of small businesses collapsed. Unemployment rose to six and a half million. 17 million, a third of the population, were supported by the dole. I just got back from sea, laid off. It was terrible. You looked around at all that misery. Men just hanging around on street corners. Queues down the labour exchange, you thought, this is hopeless. I won't get a job. Those in work had had their wages cut. It was just depression everywhere. What is it? Horse. This total depression. And it wasn't just the workers. I mean, those with money and savings, middle class folk, you know, they were frightened they'd lose everything. Prices going up, banks closing their doors. And when they looked to the government to do something, nothing. Social Democrats have walked out of Parliament. They say they can't agree to cut the dole. Well, how can we afford to pay every man the dole? It's nonsense. So we have a new government. Every day we have a new government. Who would have democracy when it makes us so weak? In the face of depression, and with democracy on the point of collapse, the German people look for new solutions. In working class areas where the poverty was worst, the communists attracted six million new members. They called on workers to rise and take over factories, banks and businesses. It had happened in Russia in 1917. The Russian middle classes, factory owners, bankers, landowners, had been wiped out or forced to flee abroad. The years since prison had changed Adolf Hitler. No longer the shuffling figure of the early newsreels. Now he was uniformed, impressive. Policy had changed too. No longer to seize power, but to win votes legally. They'd play their part in the democratic process and then destroy it from the inside. Mm -hmm. 